Welcome back, beautiful people. Excuse me, sorry for the gum chewing that's about to be in this video, okay? <laughs> We're about to review the Revlon Powder Brush Blow Dryer. The air comes from the bottom out through the top, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, it's got three settings, cool, low, and hot. And when I say hot, I mean hot, hot, so you gotta be careful. The air only comes through the top of the brush, but I'll show you guys about that later. Um, so this is me just trying out the different, the different, um, temperatures, but that hot is super hot. Like, we're not going to do that. We're going to stick on low. I'm going to add the, um, Natural All Club Nourishing Avocado Leave-In Conditioner as a leave-in before I blow dry. And then I'm going to top that off with, um, the Chi Silk Infusion. And we all have seen this before, but I'm going to use this for the heat protection because your girl don't play those games. Okay. So, <laughs> without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here you all see me beginning to part my hair as a high density person with kinky coarse hair. I don't have the luxury of <laughs> just doing my hair without thoroughly parting it first. And you will see why, because this is a whole struggle. Look at all those puffs. Just thick. Just thick, okay? Can't even get the scrunchie out of my head. As you guys can see, I'm adding the leave-in conditioner that I showed you all before, and then I'm going to go ahead and detangle. After that, I'm going to twist each section so that the hair doesn't curl back on itself, and it kind of keeps the hair stretched until I'm ready to blow dry it. Hopefully that makes some sense, but you'll see what I'm talking about. See what I mean? Like I'm twisting it up. Still a lot of hair, so we're just trying to keep them separated and detangled for as long as possible until the job is done. All right, so originally I was using the cool setting, which is the cold air, um, but then I realized it was taking way too long. Like that air is legit cold. And with all the brushing that you have to do to even get the air to touch your hair, I was like, this is way too much manipulation um, for my hair not to be getting dry in a, in a decent amount of time. Not only that, but I did notice on the cooler setting, my ends just weren't getting as straight. Like, as you can see, like, my hair is really puffy, and I've been brushing through it quite a bit already. So, I went ahead and I switched to the low setting, <laughs> um, because I just, I wasn't having it. I was like, I'm not, I'm not about to keep doing this. This is not going to take me two hours, y'all. Um, so as you can see, it's starting to dry a little faster. Um, but all in all, I'm not going to lie, there are a lot of sections that I use the hot setting for, um, but I'll explain that later. But yeah, as you can see, like on the low setting, which is the warm air, it dried a lot faster. And this isn't hot air at all. It's just like room temperature, kind of, if that makes sense. But yeah, I just kind of gave up on trying to get my ends and I was ready to move on to the next section. Okay, so as you guys can see just now, I did add the um, heat protectant. I don't know if I added it to the last section or if I just didn't show it. Honestly, I can't remember. <laughs> but um, in this one, I was like, okay, so maybe I need to be more intentional about the direction that I um, blow dry. Because at this point, I don't think I knew that it really only came out of the top. Like, I wasn't really intentional about it blow drying my hair and making sure the top of the brush was accessing my hair. Because like I said earlier... It doesn't come out of the bottom part of the paddle. It only comes out of the top part of the paddle. So if you notice, I'm brushing it in a way that the top part of the paddle is, is going over my hair. Y'all, I'm really hoping this makes some more sense. Because <laughs> um, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, but yeah, air doesn't come out of the whole paddle brush. Um, as far as the area where the bristles are. It only comes out of the top part. So at this point I was like, all right, so I need to be more intentional. And this, as y'all see, it's taken a lot for this little section. And I don't like putting a brush through my hair that much um, because I feel like it just over manipulates my hair. I also noticed it wasn't getting my ends that smooth. Um, and I wasn't really satisfied with that either to be doing all that manipulation. And my ends still look kind of kinky, you know, like off of this, I probably wouldn't get a really straight blowout or at least not enough for a good silk press. I'm tired already. So y'all are going to see me switch back between the low, which is the warm and the cool, which is the cold air, um, just to figure this out. 
Because, y'all, I'm just trying to figure out a technique that works at this point. Because, as you see, it's taking what I deem a long time for these small sections. Um, and a lot of manipulation. Because the only way the air can get on your hair is if you brush it. And so that is a lot more manipulation than I would prefer. Um, and I'm trying to figure out a way to get my roots and my ends because the middle part as you can see pretty much gets dried properly it's just the roots and the ends so i'm playing like this tag team of <laughs> which heat setting should i do to get what result okay so one thing i do want to point out is it is a very bulky brush okay and by bulky i mean not that my hands you know can't hold it it's just it won't let me get close to the roots. So as you can see, my, my roots are still really puffy. You've got about an inch of the brush material, which is just straight plastic, that isn't actually blowing your hair. So when you put it right up on your roots, you actually are not getting directly to your roots. So to combat that issue, I just switched to hot to make sure my roots were actually dry. Well, let's talk about the pros and cons. So the pros is that this is really easy to use. As you can see, there's no assembling that has to happen. It clearly dries your hair. <laughs> um, and it's obviously made for the less dense, less coarse hair textures. The cons are, this thing is $42. For something that I feel like doesn't do a good job, I would not pay that. Um, it was hard to find, which is why the price was so high. It's not made for my hair texture, clearly. <laughs> it doesn't get my roots or my ends. And for me, that's too much manipulation for um, it to not just do what I wanted it to do. I am finally all done, and y'all, never again. <laughs> um, as you can see, some of the bristles are bent at the top a little bit, and that's just after the first use. I think that's just because the way you have to brush it to get the air to actually get to your hair is very specific so you're always gonna be brushing in that direction anyway y'all comment below your experience with this brush and i will see you next time